Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to make an easy future house track. So, make sure to like this video, and subscribe to the channel, and let's start the video. Set the tempo to 126 or 128 BPM, and add a plucky melody. Add some pads. And a simple bass line. Add some cinematic drums to make the song interesting. At the second part of the intro, I added this filler melody. Add some claps or snaps. And this is how our intro sounds like. Add some build up drums. And some risers. Don't forget to add the drop lead and the drop bass with a cut off filter, and this is how our build up sounds like. Start the drop with a punchy kick. I layered another kick because the lows were lacking. Layer some drop claps. And add some more claps. Layer some pre-shifted claps if you feel like it. Add some rides to spice up the drums. One fourth into the drop, I added hi hats to make the track groovier. Add some crashes and some ear candy elements. Guys, this is the drop lead. Make sure to add some pitch bends to make the melody more interesting. I sign chained it, added some EQ, some distortion, some more distortion, reverb which is linked to a peak controller, a fruity filter, and some more EQ. I also added these plucks to give more click to the lead. I just side chained it. Then I layered some white noise to it. I added these barely audible chords to add some ear candy to the drop. For the processing, I just side chained it. Guys, this is the drop bass. I side chained it, added some EQ, some distortion some compression, some tape stop effects, 
and a fruity filter for a cut off automation. Add that sub bass. And at the second part of the drop, I added this pad to make the drop more intense. So guys, our track is finished, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and let's see our final result.